nine, take one. Action. Chloe, you're supposed to be acting. Lame, boring, dull. What we need is a superhero film featuring a real superhero. Hey, what's black and yellow, has pretty blonde hair, gets everyone's attention, and it's gonna break the box office. You're not talking about you as Queen B, because most of the time you are a super disaster more than a superhero. Uh, actually, I wasn't even thinking of Queen B. I was thinking of a much more original character. Queen, uh... Queen Banana! <laughs> Queen what? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> C9, take two. Action! Uh, this is way better than that ridiculous costume Dupen Chang made, but it's still missing something. I know, I need wheels. You don't need a car. These superheroes can fly. What do you know about superheroes, Baker Girl? Just go back to sleep while I. Daddy! <laughs> C9, take three. Action! Ha! We can start now. Except, when she sees you all just lying around doing nothing, Queen Banana doesn't feel like saving you. She feels more like tossing you in the garbage. Chloe, we're not changing everything again. Who said change everything? We just need a bigger and better challenge for Queen Banana. Daddy! <sighs> Thanks, Adrian. It's really gorgeous of you, I mean, generous of you to come help us. Happy to, Marinette. My father said it was for the good of the film. At least he is worth saving. Okay, now can we shoot? Hmm, we need a new bad guy, a super duper uber villain. Ugh. A galactic emperor? A giant octopus that comes from outer space? A fire breathing dragon? No, no, those are so lame. I want a giant yellow gorilla that throws exploding bananas. <sighs> it's for the good of the film. Are you kidding? I want a real dynamite slinging gorilla, not some cardboard monkey. But Chloe, giant yellow dynamite slinging apes do not exist. There are tons of giant gorillas doing stuff in all the good movies. Can't you just hire one of those? Ugh, I'm so tired of all of you. I'm getting some beauty rest at the palace. Tomorrow you'd better have this monkey business figured out. Maybe the zoo will lend us an ape if we take extra good care of it. You're not really gonna look for a giant dynamite slinging gorilla. It's for the good of the film, Marinette. It's not for the good of the film. It's not even a film anymore. It's just Chloe's fantasy. The only thing we're gonna do right now is get Adrian out of that cage. Then we're gonna shoot the story that we all thought up together. That's for the good of the film. Gorilla, where are all the others? Why isn't anyone here to shoot my big scene? They shot everything last night. Right about now, they're probably over at the movie theater screening it. What the? <gasps> Ultimate nightmare! Harmonic wind! Share it with your kid. Wow, but don't you want to keep some for your family? Nah, they prefer sour to sweets. Well, thanks, miss. Enjoy your journey. Oh, welcome, Mademoiselle Zoe. Please follow me. Pardon me, madame, but your daughter, Mademoiselle Zoe, has arrived. Zoe, ugh, you look terrible. I'm guessing the flight was horrific. Someone in economy class, uh, smelled like dis Disgusting cologne, and the flight attendants refused to open a window to air out the plane. Your father forgot to provide a private jet for you. Too busy for anyone, as usual. It's fine that you want to come live with us in Paris, but what exactly was wrong with your boarding school again? I... I found roaches in my locker. Can you believe it? Well, that's nice, dear. John Quentin, take her to see her sister. Hmm. So... You're Zoe. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Good. So far, you're measuring up to the family standards. You can make an acceptable sister, physically at least. Cell phone. You'll have to change the case. Not enough gold or diamonds. Ugh! What are those? See these? These shoes are life. And in life, there are winners and losers. Winners have their perfect little feet in these 
shoes while losers get crushed under the soles. So, you want them? Uh, uh, uh. If you want to be a winner and be part of this family, you're going to have to earn your place. But don't worry, I'll be your mentor. And if you prove worthy enough to be my sister, well then, maybe I'll let you borrow my shoes. Rule number one, your father only exists to give you everything you want whenever you want. Daddy! I want the limo painted pink before I go to school. Uh, what? But sweetheart... Since your father isn't here, you'll use mine. If you become my sister, of course. Rule number two, you need a minion. Where's yours? Uh, I left them in New York. <gasps> Fatal mistake. You never go anywhere without your minion. Don't confuse a minion for a patsy, which I'll teach you about later. A minion is someone who does everything for you. Aren't you done with that math homework yet? Sorry, Chloe. It's taking me a little longer because it's so dark in here, but now that my eyes are used to having no light, it'll go much faster. <clears throat> now, a patsy is there to suffer for your own entertainment. If you're good enough, a patsy can last you a lifetime. I have an old one, but it hasn't been working so well ever since I became a superhero. I got too soft. She's yours if you can do something with her. Super important rule number 72. All the boys have to be crazy about you. Carrying your school bag up the stairs should be the highlight of their day. Not you. No. Not you either. Or you. But you can shine my shoes in your dreams tonight. <gasps> you. Uh, here. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you nobodies. Stop your meaningless chatter for a minute and listen up. This is... Uh... What's your name again? Zoe. Uh, we'll buy you a new name later. This is Zoe. She's only my half-sister for now, but you must still treat her with respect. So, bow down! Uh, I mean, give her the welcome her status deserves. Her sister? Chloe has a sister? If we're lucky, she'll only be half as horrible. Relax, girls. I met her at the bakery earlier. She's totally nothing like Chloe. She's actually really nice. And besides, we shouldn't make snap judgments about people before we get to know them, right? Hey, what's up, man? Ah, rule number 148. Obviously, you need a guy BFF to wrap around your finger. Preferably gorgeous and very rich. That one over there is mine. A chickens. He's the best there is. So keep your hands off, you hear? We'll find you a less handsome one because you're less pretty than me, obviously. Ah, here comes the patsy I was telling you about. If you can do a number on her, then I'll make you my real sister. Watch and learn. Still loafing around, Du Pen Chang. <laughs> Loaf, she's a baker's daughter, get it? <laughs> hey, Zoe, what'd you think about the macarons? Good, huh? What? You know Du Pen Chang? Y yeah, we've met. This clueless klutz knocked me down, so she gave me some super, uh, disgusting macarons, thinking it would be enough to make up for it, but since I have good taste, I threw them out. Can I do your homework? Find a spot, find a spot. Mid-year admission is not so easy. There's a lot of paperwork. Rule number 38? Would you like me to call my stepfather, Mayor Bourgeois, and let him know how utterly useless you've been? So useless, in fact, that this school would surely run just as well without you. Uh... Well, I'm injured too, in my wrist. Ow! Ouch, owie! That's your thigh. Nobody asked you, Baker Girl! Anyone have an idea how to include your classmates in the game while still keeping the game fair and engaging? Well, Chloe could switch teams with every goal. The team that wins will be the one who did the best with this handicap. Uh, I mean, having Chloe as their bully! Yeah! <laughs> Nicely done, Captain. Marinette, is it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, I find Du Pen Chang's idea ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Why don't you call your father? As mayor, he could just cancel this class since I, I mean, we hate soccer. No need. I'm waiting for a call from someone else. Someone much more powerful. Hm. Ah, Chloe Bourgeois, it's been too long. Ladybug's magical charm has put you on the sidelines. But now it's time for a rematch. Time for kickoff, my Megakuma. Give back all of the aggressiveness to my favorite striker. Penalty. I am Shadow Morph. 
Your classmates are forcing you to play soccer. I'm giving you the power to make them loathe this sport forever. To accomplish this, you'll be an invincible team with all the guarantees of winning it all. Including cheating, of course. In exchange... Save your breath, victory in the miraculous, I know. Chloe? to play soccer? Okay then, let's play! But I thought you didn't like soccer. I can't stand it. And I promise that when I'm done with you, you two will never want to play this ridiculous game ever again. Chloe, vengeance is never the solution to any problem. I'm no longer Chloe. From now on, call me Penalty. And here's my penalty! Miss <laughs> <gasps> 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 Bustier! <gasps> The first half is 45 minutes. If I win, no one will ever play soccer in this city again! <laughs> if you play anything like Chloe, this is gonna be easy. Oh, yeah, no! <laughs> the penalty team is invincible, you bunch of losers! <laughs> doesn't count. There was a foul on Alia. She's right. That's a red card. I get to decide the rules. Uh. Uh. Oh. And you, oh. since you like to talk so much, why don't you be our official commentator? Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up already? And I thought you loved soccer. You. The more I score, the more cramped your friends will be. Welcome to the Stadium of Princesses, or not. No intention of losing this game. Tiki, spots on! Ah, oh, for pity's sake, anything but soccer, please. Sorry, but Ladybug and I are a team. Plan, walk out! We're not leaving alone, friends. We're bringing every single one of you with us in our hearts. Aww. Aww. Adrian, wait up! Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Adrian, out of the way! Uh, forget about these losers, Adrianans. I'll be able to come and see you whenever I want on Mom's private jet. Mm. Sure, Chloe, sure. Is everything okay? Uh, see you in a bit for our great journey, Adrian. <laughs> Bye! Love ya! <laughs>